Hey guys, today we're going to talk about irrelevant sentences. And what this means is that sometimes when we write, we add some things that don't quite go with our topic. So we've got to get good at identifying which sentences we need to take out because they're irrelevant or they don't really have anything to do with our topic. So in order to do that, first we've got to identify our topic and then we've got to identify which sentences are irrelevant. So let's get started. Now in my first paragraph, it's talking about vegetables. So let's see which, what first what our topic is and which sentence is irrelevant. So it says vegetables come in many different colors. Some vegetables are green like beans and lettuce. Some vegetables are yellow like squash. Sometimes meat is red. Other vegetables like carrots are even orange. The many colors of vegetables help to make them appealing. So guys, right away, I know my topic is going to be vegetables come in many different colors because I know Ms. Stockwell talked about how our topic sentence comes first in the paragraph. So all the other sentences should have something to do with vegetables and how they come in many different colors. So let's reread and, now, and see now if we can find the irrelevant sentence. So let's keep reading. Some vegetables are green like beans and lettuce. Yeah, that kind of goes because we're talking about vegetables and their colors. Some vegetables are yellow like squash. Yeah, that goes because it's talking about vegetables and how squash is yellow. Let's look at our third sentence. Sometimes meat is red. Uh-oh. I'm thinking that this is irrelevant because look, we're talking about vegetables and how they come in many different colors. We're not talking about meat. So I'm thinking this might be irrelevant or it really doesn't go with our topic. Now let's try this with another paragraph, guys. Now, this one is about going to the dentist. So let's read and see if we can find our topic. I visit the dentist for a checkup two times a year. The dentist checks my teeth for cavities. A veterinarian helps sick animals. Then the dentist cleans my teeth and flosses them. After that, the dentist lets me pick out a toothbrush. When I leave the office, my teeth are so clean. So already I know that my topic is about the dentist. Oops, let me undo that. So I'm going to highlight my first sentence because this is my topic about going to the dentist two times a year for a checkup. Now let's reread all the rest of the sentences to see which one is irrelevant or has nothing to do with going to the dentist for a checkup. The next sentence says the dentist checks my teeth for cavities. Yeah that happens at a checkup. Now the next sentence says a veterinarian helps sick animals. So already I'm thinking this doesn't quite belong because we're talking about the dentist and what does that have to do with a veterinarian helping sick animals? So I'm thinking this is probably irrelevant. It really doesn't go with our topic. And each of our sentences in a paragraph should be relevant or go with our topic. All right, guys. So after this, I want you to go to Schoology and practice this with your activity, identifying the irrelevant sentence. All right. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.